Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Alteryx tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the render tool, which can be found in the reporting category and allows us to publish our reporting snippets in a variety of different formats. If you'd like to follow along with this example, the data is available through the example in the table tool, the master store Colorado file. In a previous video, we created three sample tables and use the layout tool to position those tables vertically with section breaks, which allow us to publish each of these three tables onto separate sheets in Excel or pages of a Word document or slides of a PowerPoint. And that's available through the orientation of the layout tool. But here we're taking a deeper look at the render tool as you look at the render tool, you'll notice that it just has an input and its counterpart is kind of the output data tool. So it just has a place where you can uh, bring data in, but really you're, you're building an external file um, that you're going to uh, take out of Alteryx. Exactly. It's an endpoint of a process. Um, so here we'll first take a look at the default configuration of the render tool, which will create what it calls a temporary PDF document. And you'll notice that in the output mode, there are a bunch of temporary files that we can create, uh, whether that's HTML, a composer file, which allows the user to save the file down into a variety of different file types. Um, but you'll see this is a fairly extensive list. Um, we also have the ability to choose a specific output file type. So here, one of my favorite things to do is to type in my desired output report name with no file path given. And as long as we have the workflow saved somewhere on our PCs, Alteryx will write that output file into the same folder. So here I've got a little Excel file called report. And we see that we have three tabs or sheets within the Excel document with the names provided by those three formula tools back on Canvas. So we can customize those however we'd like. But the render tool is very flexible and we could take the same reporting snippets and publish them directly into different formats. So if we want to take a look at how Alteryx would write them directly into a PowerPoint, here we can choose the temporary PPTX format. And one thing that you'll notice with each of these temporary files is that it can create a rather crazy looking file extension and file name. So the temporary files are great for initially working with your data, but if you want to write to a file that's easier to find on your PC and has a file name that maybe you can relate to a little bit more, you may want to choose a specific output file. So here when writing directly into Microsoft Word, if we have section breaks, it will put each snippet onto a fresh page. When writing to a PDF, those section breaks become uh, bookmarks within the PDF, making them easy to find. And we also have the ability to use Alteryx to create images. So here we'll play with a temporary PNG image. You have the ability to add a header or footer. You can also create those using the report text tool and attaching them above or below your reporting snippet. Here we'll select a nice shade of blue for our background color. And as always, the reporting snippets are highly customizable. And we can evaluate our lovely looking PNG image. It's ready to share. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.